Okay, yo, what's going on, guys? It's Brown Hammer here, and in today's video, um, we got a different type of mod mini review for you. This one's actually a zombies mod menu, and um, kind of late on this, I guess, because it's like four o'clock, and I don't really re like. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I tried recording this earlier, but it didn't work out. Um, well, I like the recording worked out and everything, but I don't know. It all like, I don't know. I tried making it, earlier, making it earlier and it was going to be up, but it didn't, so here I am making it again. This is Laws's, um, so this is Zombies Mod Menu by Laws. The guy who in the last video I made was his private match menu, and that thing is cool. It's a lot of fun to play with. Um, this one I have is actually pretty fun. I, I Obviously, I've been messing around with it. As you can see, once we load in, we've got, we got a pretty nice welcome here. Um, if you guys actually, okay, you know what? I'm going to do like, here, first... Let me just get out of the way of that zombie. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and open up the menu and turn on God Mode before I start explaining what the menu is. Um, so, in this menu, it's, it's good. Okay, it looks like a mini menu, but it's really not. It's a pretty big menu with a lot of cool features to it that I actually haven't seen in some menus like some multiplayer menus. So, I'll look for um, other zombies menus if you guys like this video. So hit the like button to let me know. But first, let's go ahead and go through it. So under the, you hit up to open it, and as you can see at the bottom, it's got the um, uh, the controls. You got up and down to scroll, square to select, circle back, and R3 to close. Um, so in the first menu, you have self menu where you have god mode, demi god mode, but you actually don't know the difference between them. You have infinite ammo and a uh, 50k score. So you can just keep adding 50k to your score. And yep. Basically, that's it. It'll keep going up. You can reset your score to 500, or you can do it again. Um, here you have change vision, where you can change your vision to basically a lot of like the other visions and stuff. I don't know. I say I don't know a lot. I don't know why. But um, you can change your vision. I like enhanced. I'm going to leave it on that one. you got no clip here. I'll show you that later. Um, you've got invisibility and FOV slider, which basically you can increase and decrease the FOV and I haven't seen one where you can actually change it like that so I'm gonna leave mine at 91 because I feel that's pretty nice you've got no target so you see how they're all coming after me now they will all just uh, wander aimlessly and not have a target to go towards like if I get behind them and then I turn it back on they'll all start turning around and come towards me um, changing view model I don't know what that one does well I don't want to try uh, view model enhanced I'm not sure what that does. I don't see a difference in them. Um, you have saving, uh, saving and loading position. You push this to save. That. To load. There we go. Um, you can go ahead and do clones. See, it just drops one there. You can do a statue clone. Where it's just that. You can do a dead clone. And you can also do an explode clone. Um, explode. Um, oh, exploded, my bad. You've got double speed, which is um, a lot of fun because you can just speed away from them super quick. You have frog jump, which was in his um, other menu. And that's basically it besides suicide. I don't know why you'd want to use that, but you got that. Um, next, you have account menu for if you're online. You can pick custom values, have custom stats, set low stats, high stats, legit stats, and trophies. I'm not going to do that because I have a feeling that some of that will crash menu you have or next sub menu you have is a model list where you have third person reset default actor reporter engineer farm girl um old man uh that was that one word bus driver zombie one and zombie two next you've got teleport menu where you can teleport through the town power cabin notch farm diner bus depot and wooden cabin i am not sure if this works on like dlc maps i don't know actually because any of the dlc um, I'll go ahead and show you that it works. I'll teleport to town. And as you can see, it just drops you right here in the middle of town. So next, you have the fun menu, where you have the bunny hop mod, which basically is just auto jump. Then you have Valkyrie missiles, which is, you know, the simple Valkyrie missile. After that, you have auto snake, which that's kind of messed up. I don't know what that's for. You have the death ops cam, where it puts it way above you, and you can move then you have the PhD flopper. I don't know what that does. Does that do anything? Whoa. Um, is that this mod? I don't know if that's this mod. 
That's not this mod. Oh, I think that's Frog Jump. You have GoPro Random Zombie. Whoa, it shows this guy. Okay. GoPro Random Zombie basically puts you on a zombie's chest so you can see what it is. This one just so happened to be the electric guy, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm going to turn Frog Jump off in a second. You have Sky Trip, which is like um, Adventure Time. A walking AC-130. Which, <laughs> wow, that's shooting nukes. That's cool. Um, yeah, that's fun. You can get high rounds with this menu. Um, after that, you have Nuke Nades, which I'm guessing is just like a... We'll go ahead and try it. Yep, look at that. You're throwing nukes. That's pretty cool. Um, you have a uh, skull guard, which is pretty neat. Hang on. I don't know where it is. Skull guard enabled. Nah, I don't know where it is. Um, next you have kill text, which I still don't know. Hang on. Let's try and find a zombie. You actually have an aimbot menu in this menu. I just don't. I'm not on that menu yet. I'll show you. First, I'm going to teleport out of here and go to the bus depot. Get on the bus. Alright. So that was most of the stuff in the fun menu. You still have jetpack, drivable car, all this. I'm not going to try all of it out because I just don't simply have the time. Next, we have the sound list. We can basically play all the sounds and all that. Uh, you have a perks menu where you can enable all your perks. You have to drink them first, so you have to wait. You got Juggernog, Quick Reload, Double Tap, Quick Revive, <coughs> Marathon, and that's it. That's all the perks that you have that you can enable. Um, you have a weapons menu where you can do modded weapons. This just thinks your gun doesn't actually give you a weapon. Um, you have bullet effects. I'm not going to do any of these because I'm scared to crash in the middle of this. Um, next you have weapons list where you can do equipment things like you can do an electric trap, electric, or the turret, the turbine. As you can see it all works. The riot shield, the jet gun. Yeah, you got that. Um, stick your grenades, frags, EMPs, and symbol monkeys. Next you have the normal list where you can get the ray gun mark 2, taser knuckles, the jet gun, again, I already have it. Um, the riot shield, ballistic knife. Um, you can get a modded ballistic knife with where you have the Bowie knife and you shoot ballistics, which is cool. You can get um, just the regular ballistic knife, ray gun, EMP grenade, symbols. Yeah, just all this stuff right here. You can actually get the snipers and everything like that. So you can go ahead and quick scop them zombies. Oh, that's what the kill text is right there. It says, I'm the best, owned. <laughs> 420 COD scope. Um, after that, you basically just have all the other guns and everything in the game. There are some guns in here that I haven't seen in the game. I'm not sure. But, what's the card? Oh, it's the Cap 40. This? Hmm. I wonder why they have different names. The Python. Is that an actual gun in the game? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Next, you have upgraded ones where you can buy, or you can get the upgraded ray gun. You also have all of these guns. Like, you get all of them. You can just keep swapping through them. Um. I don't know where the upgraded ray gun's going. You can do basically all those guns that I just showed you, but upgraded. And I don't think you can do the zombie gun upgrade, or the jet gun in my hand. I don't think you can do that upgraded. Alright, now next you have a customization menu where you can read. This is for the menu itself. You can change the background. I don't like any of that, though. Oh. There we are. Um, you can pick a color for the background. You can pick the scroll bar color. And this menu is actually not that bad. Because you can do this, and now you have a pink scroll bar. I think it's pretty cool. You got a text menu where you can type things, or not type things, where you can pick the menu options and color and stuff like that. I'm not going to mess with any of that stuff. You have, sorry, I thought my door was open. You have an aimbot menu where you can turn the main aimbot on, and it works like that. I like turning unfair on because that's just fun. I'll wait until zombies spawn, and I'll show you what that does. Um, next, you have effects list with, like, 
hard hard to explain things. I don't know. I think it's more sound. Yeah, it's more sounds and stuff like that. Here you have host menu for prestige lobby force host. You can keyboard a message, fling gun, FPS, score mode, power ups, forge mode, disco sun. You have all that. Then you have um, <clears throat> the forge menu, which I'll actually show you what this one does. Let me stand up really quick. Here, let's go right here and do spiral stairs. So these are actually really nice looking spiral stairs. They're not like the other ones where they're care packages. These ones are straight up like balls, like chrome balls, I guess. I think that's pretty cool. You can totally just camp up here because I don't think they might be able to come up here, actually. I'm not sure. I haven't seen any come up here, but they might be able to. Then you've got the regular stuff like debug wave that I'm standing in. Bounce and a death skull. You have a zombies menu where you can do power-ups, animation, speed, round, slider. Where you can like literally change the round that you're on. I'm going to go up to like... Let's go to round 100. Now, as you can see, the round is about to change to 100. I think. Look at that, guys. I'm now on round 100. So now this is actually round 100, though. Like this, None of this is fake or anything. It's all round 100, and you will be facing round 100 zombies. You can freeze the zombies. You can have an alive counter, which I think is cool. I love that thing. It's basically right there on the side. It's just counting how many zombies are alive. You can disable spawn, give them low health, debug model crawlers, and a zombie boss. I don't know what that is. I might mess with that later. Under here, you can spawn a bot, change the time scale, host, do heart, like that. Um, menu heart, super speed, gravity. I want to do that. You can open all doors here. This is where you can enable rapid fire. Yeah. Okay, so that's basically it for this menu. I would do some playing around, but I actually have to go. That's why I made this really quickly. Sorry if the audio or something messes up because I don't know how this is all going. Because I don't see it until after I've made the video. But, um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And as always, I will see you all in the next one. Peace.